little bit about the uh, basics of the shuttle, how it operates. Uh, um, purpose of this pilot program put out by AAA is to inform the uh, public that the future is here um, and to try to get as many people to come and ride the vehicle as possible. Uh, this has been a neat experience for me because a lot of people don't even know about these. They just come down here to Fremont Street and they say, what is that? And they jump on and uh, it's something that they learn about. Um, very positive feedback. We've transported thousands of people the last two months that we've been operating. Uh, and overwhelmingly positive. Uh, some people a little bit skeptical. New technology like this. Uh, you know, wonder is it safe? Can it be safe around pedestrians? Once they come and ride the shuttle, see how it operates, uh, they leave with a much uh, more positive attitude towards it. Um, so AAA wants to be part of uh, transforming the future of uh, mobility and uh, public transportation. Um, so that was good. Oh, man. So, uh, tell you a little bit about the shuttle, guys. Uh, you can see uh, sensors all around the vehicle. Um, this vehicle is fully electric. Has a very large uh, 33 kilowatt lithium battery. Uh, easily last, uh, on a day like today, easily last 12, 13 hours on a single charge. Very efficient. Um, and uh, that's important on a vehicle like this that's electric, because you got to have a vehicle that's going to do the service um, uh, that you plan on doing. If you guys have any questions as we go along. What's the top, top speed? Top speed on this, right now it's limited. Uh, they have it governed at 12 miles an hour. 12 miles uh, an hour. That's for this environment, which yeah. is actually a really good speed. Okay. Um, because we're going behind, when we go on the route over by 6th Street, I mean, we're going behind parked cars that are backing up towards the vehicle, pedestrians. Uh, during our pilot program here, that's a good speed. It can be programmed to go much faster than that. Yeah. Uh, that's what they have it set up now for safety purposes. Uh, a couple of other neat things about the shuttle. Sensors all around it. There's eight of them called LiDAR sensors. Uh, they're in front on the sides and back and then the two on top are Velodyne sensors. Uh, rotating sensors. Some of you are familiar with those, how they work. Uh, basically how the sensors work is they project out light. That light reflects off of everything around the shuttle. Take for example this uh, fancy brick wall over here. Sensor on the side is shooting out light. That light is reflecting back, coming back to the shuttle. The shuttle measures that and knows exactly where that wall is with the sensors. That's the same for everything. Pedestrians, cars, fixed objects, these trash cans over here. Sensors know exactly what's around the vehicle at all times. Out in the vehicle's path. So the sensors, they kind of have a safety bubble around us um, that extends out from the edge of the vehicle. So program it's actually a measured space something infringes or comes on the edge of that space uh, the vehicle will either slow down or it'll come to a stop um, so if something you know comes in too close sensors will, will uh, slow down assess it once it realizes it's clear go ahead and move forward do, do you have any, any idea what, what other drivers see our um, autonomous driving car? Do they feel... Like, oh, how do they feel about it? Yes. Uh, do you have any feedback from you know, other... To be, on, I, to be, be honest driving. with you around here, people have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Because they I, cannot see any steering... We should all so now, yeah. I mean, other drivers because other drivers they don't know what it is, but but people that were walking by uh, out on the street, they they look at them, they're just like, what? They have no idea. I mean, they're just like they don't see a driver, but they know something's different about it, but they don't know what it is. What a freak! Yeah, <laughs> and then cars. Uh, you know, I mean, cars. You know, people have nice cars around here, and they're flying around here, right? Even so, they see the shuttle; it's kind of going along, and they're like. Bruh! You know, it's 
<laughs> you know, they get impatient with it. But uh, a lot of a lot of people too, like at a four way stop, they'll look at it and they'll they'll just come to a stop because they want to see it. <laughs> so they'll they'll stop at the uh, four way stop and just sit there and look at it because they're like, what is it? You know. Uh, And, and you know, so yeah, most people, they, they don't know about these yet. Uh, yeah. That's, that's the, uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. 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 He doesn't like me very much. And, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you, you obviously know what he thinks of the shuttle. Uh, <coughs> again here, cars flying up on the left. Uh, Oops. Can you see the <laughs> sensors? Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. got their seatbelts on? Awesome. Yeah. Uh, cars cut in front of the shuttle. Sensors picked up on it. That's why it came to this stop. It's a normal kiss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> see these definitely university campuses in the future. Uh, Airports transport people from large parking lots to terminals. Uh, theme parks, amusement parks. Uh, little kids feel like this is a ride. But you will see these at theme parks for sure. Um, also in neighborhoods, help transport people from their neighborhood, let's say to a major bus line mm -hmm. or a major rail line. Uh, help fill in that gap, which is one of the challenges we have in transportation. Um, this would be a perfect solution for something like that. <笑>你只要算出来我在那个 And here you can see how accurate it comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, very concise. Uh, you can see these people right here, mm -hmm. not allowing the uh, shuttle to come in. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Thank you very much. Thank you.